Dr. J, my final question for you is, again, related to COVID-19, what tips or what advice you can give us in terms of increasing our immune system so that we don't have the symptoms or we don't give it to others? Great question. And it's been said, one of the biggest concerns about COVID is it has a higher contagion rate. But the thing that's being missed is that as a society, humankind has never been sicker. We have more chronic diseases. We have more devastation than any time in recorded history. So we're ripe for a virus or a pandemic because our immune systems are so suppressed that e so uh, mild or moderate viruses have a greater toll because our body cannot fight it the way it needs to. So it really comes down, it really comes down to uh, six things for me as far as um, strengthening and enhancing your immune system. And these are things, these are, in fact, the uh, AMA came out with a report, a study go about six or seven years, it said 97% of all disease is lifestyle related. Mm. So if we just made better choices, mm -hmm. um, we wouldn't have the kind of concern and issues we're dealing with right now. So there's six primary steps that people can do to enhance and strengthen their immune system. Number one is always a positive mental attitude. It's really clear um, from a biochemical standpoint, when we're stressed out, our bodies produce certain hormones which inhibit and suppress immune system function. Number two is um, what we consume. I always like to say our life and our health is dependent on how we eat, move, and think. Mm -hmm. And so what we eat will determine how well our body works. If we're putting good fuel in, um, then we're going to be able to run at a much more efficient level and there's less waste and toxins. Mm. A lot of I heard about that. I heard yeah. about that. Eating food is very much related to anxiety or depression or even immune system. 100%. 100%. And then associated with that is supplementation. Mm. Uh, there are certain supplements that we cannot get in a normal diet because um, they've either been stripped out of the food or they no longer exist like a probiotic. We used to be able to get a lot of good bacteria from the food that we ate, but yeah. through irradiation, farming and agricultural practices, we don't, which is causing all sorts of gut health issues, yeah. which is a significant problem because 80% of your immune system originates in your gut, which also affects your uh, emotional state, mm. uh, your serotonin level. So, when your serotonin levels are off because of an unhealthy gut biome, you see more depression and anxiety. So people are wondering, well, how does my gut affect my brain? Well, they're very intricate related. Yes. Um, so that's number three. And of course, uh, exercise is an absolute critical component um, to expressing health. And you know, you don't have to be cr go crazy. You don't have to be you know a bodybuilder or a champion bodybuilder or fitness performer. Just get out, and move, have fun, do things that you enjoy to do, bike. Go for a walk, take the dogs for a run, play with the kids around the yard, just get out and move. Do yard work too. Um, and, and so we look at those. And then, uh, uh, you know, the, the other one as, as a chiropractor, I practiced for 25 years. And we know from the chiropractic adjustment, it actually enhances T lymphocytes. So mm -hmm. it literally boosts the white blood cells that respond initially when we get exposed to a pathogen. So plus it makes you feel good. So when you're feeling better psychologically, emotionally, again, those hormones and stress hormones that I mentioned before will be suppressed. So uh, the chiropractic adjustment is a, is a big part of it as well, too. So those are the components that, uh, that people can do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is going to enhance their immune system. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is if our immune system is functioning at its peak performance, we don't really worry about getting exposed to other things because it actually... Your, your immune system is like, is like your musculoskeletal system or your cardiovascular system. The more it's exposed to things, the and the better it responds, the stronger it gets. So the, the, the more you stress it, the better it is, which then reduces your, your uh, risk for other autoimmune diseases like cancer and, mm. and, and uh, all the inflammatory diseases. So um, the thing I want people to understand is you're not a victim of your genes. Mm. Our health is strictly, is, I would say 97%, again, according to the research, is because of lifestyle. We change our lifestyle, just add one good thing. Start with drinking more water, which, by the way, is number six. 
Yeah. Dehydration is um, as significant as it relates to um, the transport of nutrients in the cell, um, bowel function. Also, mm. you know, I can literally we can do a whole podcast just on yes. hydration. But um, um, so those key contributors will make all the difference in the world of not if you get sick because you're going to get sick, yeah. but you won't get sick as bad or as long. And again, it will protect you against the chronic diseases that you know, so many are suffering from right now in our society. Yeah, and I also heard lately what what I'm doing personally is that I'm getting vitamin C every day. Uh, I'm drinking more water because I have my bottle next to me, so I can drink more because we forget to drink water. And I'm sleeping well. I felt that those are also sleeping is also important so that our body can get kind of reset and then goes back to uh, functioning better. Yeah, no question. Sleep is right in there. Absolutely, it is because your body heals and repairs at night. And if it's not getting the appropriate amount of rest, it can't do so. Uh, a study had shown that three nights, three consecutive nights or more of less than your typical, you know, under six hours sleep reduces immune output by 30%. So pretty significant. Yeah. And with that, my question, my interview with you, Councilman and Dr. J, thank you for those great tips. And I hope my audience will start implementing at least one of them. I think drinking water, we can all start doing it. And for the audience, again, watching or listening, if you have any other tips to increase our immune system, you are more than welcome to leave a comment and like and share the video, subscribe to our channel, reach out to Dr. J's uh, social media platforms and tune in tomorrow for another great guest I'm preparing for you. And with that, Dr. J, again, thank you for taking the time to interview and hopefully we can meet one day in person. I look forward to it. Thank you thank so you. much for having me on. Thank you. Bye-bye.